Hey, what's going on, Dev? Welcome back to Web Dev Channel, a place where you learn by doing. In today's episode, I will show you how to create this expandable site menu from scratch. I will guide you step by step until we have it done. First, we are going to create this entire HTML structure and we are going to add some interactivity, this closing and open the bar with vanilla JavaScript. And as you can see, we're gonna also apply the same style this time using CSS. We start to right now. All right, devs, let's start to read from scratch. Okay, let's start out by creating our files structure. Let's start out by creating our index.html for the markup. Okay, we also need a styling. This time, we're gonna be using SAS. So let's create style.scss, all right, because it's easy to work with and it's very organized. And last but not least, let's create our app.js, okay? And once it's done, let's close for now app.js. We don't need that right now. And let's create our boilerplate, all right? And here, let's go to the title. In the title, let's say Site Navigation Menu. And as you saw at the beginning, we need a couple of icons. So let's copy this one from Font Awesome. Let's paste it in here in the head tag. Okay, so link and let's copy and paste it here. Okay, href. The second thing here is going to be a link that is going to connect our markup to our CSS. Okay, so the head tag is done. One last thing you have to do here is point to external JavaScript file. Our boilerplate is done. So now let's move into the markup, okay? Let's have a nav, the class is gonna be nav. You have a URL, let's give the class of nav list. And inside this one, we need a couple of allies. Okay, with the class of nav list item. Actually, we need six of them. And inside of each of them, we need the ankle tag pointing nowhere. Okay, and yeah, it's done. Our markup is quite simple and easily done. Okay, so now here we need two things. We need the icon and a paragraph. Okay, we could just type something here, but it's going to be easier if you have a paragraph tag here, okay? It's going to be easy for us to use that on CSS. So the first one is going to be the dev, all right? Let's have the second one here. Let's look for dashboard here. Let me just copy and paste. There's a link down below so you can download those ones. Copy and paste is going to be easy for you, okay? And in here, under this one, let's have a paragraph say dashboard. I know, I know we are coding, but we cannot see what we're doing. And that's not the way of learning, okay? So let's see. Let me go live and see side by side what we're doing. Much better now. And here is going to be quite simple, okay? Because now we can see it. We have this gear, FR gear, and here let's say settings, okay? And you can see in real time, all right? So it's quite simple. And let's go up here. We need to put our logo, okay? This part is also simple. Let's find a, let's create a div, okay? With the class of span. This one is gonna be responsible for expanding and we're gonna use that on JavaScript okay it also requires the icon from font awesome and that's it our markup is done all right we are in the realm of the CSS where part of the magic happens okay let's start out by change of font let's go to the Google fonts and Choose this one, Montserrat, or something like that. And let's just copy it, import, and paste it in here. As you can see, we changed the font to red. 
and second we're gonna copy this root okay with the colors and body radius there is a link down below so you can download that one so you so don't have to type all of this okay okay now we're gonna create our css reset okay let's grab our universal selector and grab also the pseudo class before and the pseudo class after because we want our page to be the same across different browsers okay and mozilla safari we want that to be the same all right now let's move to the body and here let's change the font family i see that one that we grabbed from google fonts okay Montserrat or something like that and as a fallback plan we have the sans serif okay as you can see it changed your red let's have a background color it's going to be a grayish color let's pick the one up there on the root okay gray 100 let me give a save and yeah nice moving from top to the bottom now let's grab the nav okay the position here is going to be relative for now let's change the background let's make it white okay and let's apply some shadow it's going to be zero zero offset 10 pixels blur and let's pick a color that fits our project okay and in this case it's going to be gray 300 as you can see we have here this shadow all right but we want that nav to be 100 vh okay the full page all right start from top to the bottom now we're gonna style the expand okay is this icon let's start out by give it a size okay it's gonna be a width of 2.5 ram and the height also 2.5 ram as you can see or imagine what you can't see we have a square the background color is gonna be white okay let's pick the same box shadow from the nav the same thing here and now you can see that you have a square we don't want a square we want a circle okay so how can we do that let's use our good friend body radius okay so body radius let's say 50 percent and the whole thing is a circle okay and for the position we want that to be absolute we want position that on the on the right here on the right edge so right minus 1.2 ram and the top is going to be one ram as you can see is almost where you want z index 99 and now the one million question how can you put that in the middle the answer flex box okay just like content and align items across the uh, cross axis and it's done the cursor is pointer so the user knows that he can click on it okay and one more thing here let's apply some transition okay transform rotate z is gonna be one minus 180 degrees okay this is gonna change when you click on it so transition transform to fifth milliseconds is in out all right and let's go back to our icon here and we want to things okay first of all we want to change size dot f a angle all right okay let's increase its size let's say 25 pixels and the second thing here we want to change its color when you hover over this one okay so and hover color let's pick a grape color it's up there and there is also a link so you can download this one and you can copy and paste okay it's gonna make your life easier as you can see it's working it's working nice and let's move on okay now we're gonna grab the list okay itself display is gonna be flex and direction is gonna be column one on the top of each other and now we're gonna grab the list and item okay 
and we want this one to have least style is gonna be none all right we also want the apply transition all to 50 milliseconds is in okay we also want to apply a padding one rain top and bottom and one dot five rain left and right and something nice we're gonna do is apply some borders on the left okay right now six pixels solid and transparent but this one is gonna be is gonna have a color when the user hover of this one okay and the cursor is gonna be also pointer this way the user knows that he can interact with it this web dev here let's pretend that this is your logo okay this is mine <laughs> and this is very close it's very together with our list and we want to give some space in between them so if i can type let's say and for a child margin bottom is gonna be true rain let me give a save and as you can see there is a gap in between them okay and one more thing we should do about this one to make all the difference because this is our logo is apply also a hover effect okay background color is gonna be our grape 200 okay so take a look at this we have this nice hover effect on the list all right as you can see our ankle tags are a, a mess okay so let's change that let's grab the ankle tag and display is going to be flex and we want also to apply a gap in between the icon and the label okay align the items is going to be center along the cross axis let's also change the color for a bluish color okay so gray 400 text decoration here we want that to be none so you don't have that angle on the line and the font weight let's say 500 all right and as you can see we have a nice project red okay so let's change the size of the icons font size is going to be 35 pixels let me zoom out a little bit all right and now let's see how it is our sidebar menu okay let's change the, our nav here from relative to absolute and yeah as you can see we have already a nice sidebar menu all right uh, but now let's work on something else okay we want that to have a active state so in active okay let's make a couple of change you don't you are not gonna see that right now because we don't have that active in the markup okay but we're gonna do that the bottom left is gonna be six pixels solid and it was transparent remember and we're gonna change to our primary color okay one more thing we're gonna do here is also change the ankle tag all right so the color is gonna be var and let's pick here our primary color now we go back to our markup okay to make all this visible all right and let's grab the dashboard and make it active okay the rest of that is going to be made using vanilla javascript not hard code this way okay i'm doing that just to show you what we're gonna have so the dashboard here let me give a save as you can see this is our active class repeating this is going to be done using javascript not hard code this way our project here has three states open state the way you see right now and close state okay let's style this one and close and expand let's have the transformer rotate it's going to be zero degrees 
and we will also want when this is closed we see just the icon not the labels okay so and close and list item we're about to go into JS display none all right our CSS is done all right we are the rebel of JavaScript where the magic really happens okay let's start out by copying nav in nav span and put that in the DOM this way we can manipulate that okay first step get reference today all right so let nav document query selector dot nav and dot nav span don't forget that dot sometimes people do it okay let's go back here and one more thing we need here is this nav list okay in this case we have more than one we're gonna use query selector all let me fix that nav span now let nav list item equals document query selector all because we have a, a couple of them let's just paste it in here this way we can manipulate as i told you once you have a reference to something you can manipulate that do whatever you want delete so we want add the event list to the icon so let's grab the nav span let's add the event list this is gonna be waiting or listening for a click and when this click happens what is gonna happen we want to toggle so let's have nav dot class list toggle between the classes nav closed and not closed okay let me show you we click here now it's closed we have just the icon and not the label i click again and now it's open okay so it's working nice and next step here we are gonna use our old friend loop we want loop through the allies and make the active or not active okay so let's grab the nav list item for each okay let's call this a link you can call whatever you want like cat and we want add elephant listen to this link okay listen to a click and when this click happen we want to run this function okay list active i know we don't have this function yet but we are about to create it okay all right that's it now we're gonna create that list active function okay this one is gonna just add and remove the class active okay computers sometimes or most of the time are very dumb so you have to tell them exactly what you do okay let's do that use this function function list active so let's grab the nav list item let's loop through it for each link let's call this link because they are real links but you can call them cats if you want for each link link dot class list we wanna remove okay we, we wanna remove this active class so the nav underline list item active okay like dashboard for example right now is active and if this is active if this is not active we want make it active okay so this class list add in this case we're gonna add the class nav list item active and let's give it a try yeah it's working all right dev that's all for today i really hope you like it if you like it you know what to do thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss our weekly video i will see you in the next one